two different things that came out this week in real estate that caught my eye that I wanted to share. And this has kind of been a topic of conversation among us just about what we're seeing in the real estate market. And this is really, really new because I know even just a few weeks ago, we were talking about how the market has changed and things are feel like they're back to 2020 again, where they're just super, super, super competitive. And it it's certainly still a seller's market, but we definitely have noticed a little bit of a shift even like super, super recently. And I've been hearing that from other, um, other real estate agents in other parts of the country as well. So um, I will just share first off mortgage rates rose for the seventh straight week, according to Freddie Mac this week in real estate. While springtime is typically the busiest home buying season, the upswing in rates has caused some change in demand, says Sam Cather, Freddie Mac's chief CEO, or I'm sorry, um, economist, (laughs) not CEO. Um, Despite the rising rates, the National Association of Realtors reported the median sales price in March was the highest median sales price ever recorded. Yeah. And, That's and, crazy. And what I love to hear is the highest sales price, median sales price ever recorded, because that tells us as sellers, this market is strong. It's the right one for you. If you have a motivation to get out of your home and into something new, or just to pocket some coin and invest elsewhere. If you're an investor, that's always fun. Cashing out on an old investment and creating a new one uh, to create cash flow and different avenues to create more of your pro, pro or excuse me, portfolio. Yeah. And so that that is what I love to hear when an economic economist what economic <laughs> economist, <laughs> economist <laughs> gosh she's got me fumbling over Sorry. my words today. But I started that. When, when I hear that that excites me because that relates to my sellers and that's why Mariah and I at the Vetchers Crawford Realty Group are doing such a good job at producing more and more sellers because we specialize in listings and that holds a strong market for us because they always say if you list you last and that is what I look at that is a huge value to living in Salem and the Middle Willamette Valley yeah um okay so next we have Fewer prospective buyers are actively searching for a home. A growing segment of prospective home buyers aren't moving past the planning stage. At its peak in mid-2021, 61% were actively trying to find a home to buy. Now, the share is back to pre-pandemic levels at 46%. This is clear evidence that higher mortgage rates and double-digit growth in home prices are discouraging a growing share of buyers from engaging in the purchase process. But also, though, I think I know a lot of buyers... It can be easy to get discouraged, but just for example, I have buyers that we just got under contract not too long ago and they were about to give up and they were, they really wanted to buy and they wanted to be homeowners. They're moving from another area and rent is just so crazy expensive that they would not be saving money if they were renting. And Mm -hmm. so they really, it made sense for them to buy, but they were about to be those discouraged buyers that after writing so many strong offers were about to give up and then they got one accepted. And so... Um, it is definitely possible to get something under contract right now. I think buyers just need to have that realistic expectation. But um, and you know what I have to add to that, yeah. though? Working side by side with you mm-hmm. and following these buyers, they were so qualified. It was unreal. Their credit oh, scores yeah. are great. They got great jobs. Yeah. And the money, they had backed money. It was conventional loan. Every box was checked when it came to the lending and it wasn't anything to do with them or us it was just the market we're yeah. in and sometimes right. real estate is based on luck who can find um, the right relationship to maybe get your offer selected even if your offer tied with the other there's a 50 50 chance right it's going to be you or the other person and that's what's really important working with a qualified professional that doesn't just do five ten deals a year our numbers are definitely out there and that's that's quite unbelievable in a market like this one I think that also to add to that, um, but what this was saying with um, fewer buyers searching for homes right now, I'm just curious 
you know, like how we're going to start seeing what this is predicting, how we're going to start seeing that play out with our own like listings and buyers if things will get easier for buyers and it'll be a little less competitive um, over the next few weeks and months. Well, I don't, I, I think things are going to start tapering down for sure when it comes to buyers, the amount of buyers out there, because like you said, who can afford at these prices with these mortgage rates, their actual mortgage now, um, that's that's going to be a big issue. Um, the, the easy thing to say is, well, why don't I get paid more so I can now afford my mortgage if you're the employed? That's one of the hardest things politically that we got to work through as a nation and get better at because cost of goods are going up too. It's not just real estate. This is kind of right. everything globally, and that's when we really start to digest and see how this um, world operates. It's it's very circulatory. So we need money to be spent to have strong economies. But back to the point of real estate is there's going to be less buyers out there. And then I believe sales prices, they're also going to drop a little bit and dip. I don't think there's going to be that catastrophic crash. Or even <laughs> it, it would be a pretty big deal just based off of how things have been going. If they even just like take word what's the word stagnant like didn't didn't drop but just stayed the same like leveled out if that even happened Mm -hmm. it would be a pretty like huge shift from what we've been seeing this like crazy high yeah two years from two years ago i I, i'm gonna say it again it was this is going to become our new normal yeah um everybody expects there to be a two hundred thousand dollar price tag on a home when a market dips I think those days are (laughs) gone because of, like I just said, the the economy, the high appreciation. We're just never going to see those days again. Like we'll never see gas prices at 40 cents a gallon. It's every every time. This is my life Mm. experience. Anyway, every time you think Mm. things are going to get tough, if you'll be creative, if you'll think a little bit out of the box, I hate to use that term, but it's these. But if you're thinking and you get creative, there are opportunities. Every time things change, there's opportunities out there. The question is. Where are they, and how how do you find yourself in that position to take advantage of it? And uh, mm. it's just you know thinking now. Everybody else is going this way. What if I were to take this other little rot and yeah. get it done? Yeah. Everything doesn't have to be done the same way. So you just have to Absolutely. find some some creative ways to make it happen. And that's why I think it's great to work with somebody like you because you're willing to look at some different ways. You know mm. what is there out there? Somebody brings up and says, "What if we do this?" And you go. Well, I haven't heard that before, but right. let's let's go take a look at yeah. it. And yeah. there's nothing wrong with that, right? Absolutely not. Yeah. The creative solutions are sometimes my favorite solutions because, like you just said, thinking outside of the box, truly you might have to in a lot of circumstances and situations we might find ourselves in in life. And real estate is a part of life. Whether you want it to be or not, we all usually have a roof over our head living in America. Well, I think mm-hmm. when things get tough, you might find a partnership. You know, um, maybe yeah, maybe idea. you buy a larger house and it's mm-hmm. a couple of families that, yeah. that buy into it or something. Or maybe yeah. you go looking for a duplex that both of you buy into at one time. Yeah. Do yeah. something like that. But there's there's got to be some ways if Absolutely. you just get creative and work at it. Totally. Absolutely. Totally. So based off this subject, let's wrap it back together, though. Hmm. Um, I believe things are going to taper down. Uh, home sale prices, I think they're going to stay somewhat equivalent to where they're at right now or dip just just small, a small dip. I don't think there's going to be a tra- uh, catastrophic just decline, but there are going to be less buyers out there and less money circulating these homes, causing more days on market um, to be higher. Days on market will become more and more higher, but remember, it used to be like 90 days. Right. That was <laughs> like, it was normal for me to have a listing be on the market for like it was three months. I mean, certain price ranges. Seriously. Six months was totally normal. It yeah. wasn't like, what's wrong with the house? It was like, yeah. it's expected. <laughs> like, yeah, we have been uh, so spoon crazy. fed in the real estate injury yeah. in- industry for quite some time now. So it's about time to come back to reality and also re-educate sellers and buyers of how things operate, things work, costs. Support. Everybody's been spoiled, so now they're not going to like waiting that extra they time. Yeah. They don't. They <laughs> don't. I know. Uh, sellers mark- I can't imagine. Yeah. No, sellers I, will have to really I, adjust. I read a post on Facebook uh, last week, and it was a, a listing um, in our community, and it hadn't been sold in five days. And they're like, man, I think I missed the boat by a month. <laughs> I'm like, really? Really? Your home is worth so much right yeah. now for what you get. A normal three bed, two bath. Five days. In the mid 400s. Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Just be patient. You'll get it. <laughs>